like this fuzz channel in here. This is a really cool fuzz channel. Um, before I plug it in and play it, I'll tell you what my impressions of it are to begin with. First off, there's this tiny little useless thing down here, this little knob says bypass it's a or bypass delay what that does is when you let off the pet pedal if you have it counterclockwise all the way it there's a lag before the wah shuts off which i totally don't understand the point of i want my wah to shut off when i take my foot off so i keep her keep it dimed you're fine there um both wahs have their own volume and their own cue control dime those too that's the way i do it um i feel like i almost get a tiny volume drop when i hit this maybe it has to do with where i had my compressor before i had a compressor behind it at one point i put the compressor in front of it now um but anyway um i find that i need the volumes totally pegged and i like the cue control turned all the way up because it gives you the biggest sweep the fuzz now different story i have this thing uh the volume set at nine o'clock and it's still louder than my than you know it, i get a little bit I'm trying to keep it at line level where when I switch my fuzz in and out, I don't get a boost. Uh, the tone I have at about one o'clock and the fuzz I only have at nine o'clock. That's still super hairy. Um, if you crank the fuzz on this and we'll do that, it is really gnarly, but uh, it's got more gain than anybody could ever probably need, but it's fun. And so the setting I have it now sounds very much like it's just, it's a great fuzz tone on its own. And then I can hit this until it's already getting dirty because me and my dirty shoes, but I've already had some fun with it. I've already had it at a band practice. So I'm gonna put this on my board and plug it in and I'm gonna let you guys hear what it sounds like. Hope you guys enjoy this, because I know I will. All right, we are back. Me and my Ventera, my favorite P-Bass, uh, all plugged in. Um, I've got a compressor, uh, an MXR bass compressor. That's the first thing in my signal chain. From there, I'm going into the wah, going through a bunch of other pedals, but I don't have any of them turned on. We're just going to hear what this wah sounds like on its own first, and then we'll hear the fuzz on its own, and I'll show you, I'll do a couple of goofy things. Uh, you're not going to get the bird's eye view of the pedal. You're just going to have to look at me beating on the guitar, because as you know here at Bass Stone Guitars, we think that production values are a dirty word. We have bad editing, and shoddily thrown together videos without a microphone and uh, you get room sound and that's what you're gonna get and you're gonna be happy with it. So. That's my P bass tone. Uh, right now, let's start with it set on the traditional Crybaby Wah. <laughs> trebly it's got a really high sweep um you get really bright on that the morley is a much uh or the uk filter i guess i should call it what it's called but i think of it as a morley but it's got a darker sound it doesn't have quite as far a sweep um with the fuzz i really like that it's almost synthy um but different wah sounds it has they interact with the fuzz very differently and the funny thing is that I find I prefer the Morley sound but when I use a distortion that's after the wah I seem to like the crybaby wah better for that so first here is the fuzz without any wah <laughs> set at nine o'clock. I'm gonna dime it once and show you just how crazy it gets. More fuzz than I need. So we turn it way back to nine o'clock, which is barely on. Tone control, too, is kind of opposite. Uh, the further you go clockwise, the darker it sounds. So it's kind of like the opposite of a tone control on your bass. Here's it all the way up. Here's totally 
counterclockwise. A little bit crispy. So I like to go right around one o'clock. So there's your fuzz channel. Let's do the fuzz with the crybaby one. side of things now here's a really cool thing if I turn the uh, independent fuzz off so that now I can have the fuzz on with the um, the Dunlop style. I feel like the, the volume drops off more because you feel more like but So that's a pretty fun little pedal to play with there. Now I'm gonna turn on my MXR bass DI. Um, it's an M80 plus. That is my, uh, this is my gritty channel more like an overdrive than a distortion when I use the Morley wall with that here's with the the crybaby style I just personally, I think that there, there's a room for both of those wahs, and I'm never going to buy two wah pedals. So it's kind of cool that I have two different tones going there. The fuzz is really usable all on its own. It's not blendable the way that like um, a lot of distortion pedals, like my, my MXR has a nice blend feature to it. You don't get that with this. You're just full bore fuzzy, but it's a really, really good usable tone. It sounds great in my band. I have a song I use fuzz on all the way through, and I got rid of my, I took the big muff, off of there and put this down and it totally served the same purpose. I think it sounds better, honestly, and I think it's easier to get the right volume and the right blend and the right mix. Um, so I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to be told about that thing other than I think it's great. Um, I know this is a big surprise, but this is not a sponsored video. This uh, I'm not getting any money from Dunlop, even though they know how influential I probably am to 11 people. Um, they did not give me a pedal, so this is a totally unbiased opinion of it. So as somebody who has been though, a dyed-in-the-wool Dunlop Crybaby fan for many, many years, I had my first one when I was in high school, which was a million years ago. And uh, it still had the toe switch in it, the first Dunlop bass Crybabies. I was learning uh, how to play Deep by Pearl Jam when 10 was the new album. So if that dates me at all. So anyway, great pedal, lots of fun. Inexpensive trip to the moon, so... Is that the pedal doesn't sweep super far and as soon as you get back your heel gets back you it'll shut off on you kind of easy like I'm not all the way back and it's cutting out so you have to be really careful when you're wan if you don't want that drop out of your wah tone to keep it in the float zone kind of you don't want to go all the way back 
but it's a minor gripe. I'll get used to it. Um, the 105Q didn't seem quite as much to be that way. Um, who knows though, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I just think this is different because it's new. But I really like it, it's a lot of fun. And uh, if you uh, can do without a truck payment, then you go ahead and you go buy yourself one too and have a lot of fun with it and make some different sounds than everybody else. Well, not everybody's gonna be making this sound because this is probably about to become the most popular wah pedal on the market for bass players, I'm guessing. But not a lot of us out there using wah very extensively. And uh, I plan on overusing the hell out of this thing, so. Come to one of my shows in the near future, hopefully, and watch me overuse this thing with my band. Uh, so thank you, as always, for watching. And um, we've got some other pedals to show off real soon. I've been on kind of a pedal kick playing with a lot of my pedals. And I'm going to go over my pedal board at one point and show you my whole signal chain and what I do for my tone. So if you think i got cool bass tone, and if you don't, what's wrong with you, man? This is great bass tone. But if you don't, um, it's probably my phone's fault. And... I uh, hope you keep watching, even though my production values are so minimal, I guess we could say. That's a nice way to say it. So anyway, keep watching. We'll be back soon, I hope. Take care.